Scotty cheated on me last night. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, and he won't apologize for it. I did apologize, but it was it was in your dream. We just found something even more worse than a cheater. Keep on watching. Hey girl, can you check if my boyfriend is loyal? Yeah, girl, I got you. So I DM'd him. I just said hi and you're very chill. And he said, hey, very random message, but thanks. I think I'm kind of chill also. Okay, normal conversation. I said, what's your number? We should iMessage. Then he requested to follow me. But before I accepted him, I said, do you have a girl or someone you're talking to? I don't want to get in the middle of anything because you know, no. And he said, in fact, I do. Plus a kid and I love them both very much, but I'm always open to getting new friends. So he passed, he passed, but then he figured me out. He figured that I do the boyfriend loyalty test and that I have a TikTok account and I have supporters and he figured out everything that it was all a trap. Then he said this. I said, haha, smart guy, but you better not be cheating on her. And he said, I won't. She already did though. So why she even did this? So the girl who sent me this already cheated on her boyfriend. So why did she send me to check on him when you cheated on him? Shame on you, girl. Follow for more. Uh, this is her boyfriend, man. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 yeah, this is her boyfriend. Did you know that she had a boyfriend? I don't know. Yeah. Boyfriend, what's going on? How come you didn't say nothing? Um, I, uh, I don't have. Did a you do everything. What do you mean you don't have a boyfriend? For you. you don't do shit for me. <laughs> you don't do shit for me. You walk around you saying you're my boyfriend. You don't do shit, and you know it. I I love you! He loves First off, let's start with there's no hate, no shade, no nothing thrown towards the girlfriend. I did not know about her. She did not know about me. But this photo was in her video. Now I'm pretty sure that is the same photo sent to me. But look at that timestamp, February 2nd. Hmm, that's a little odd. No, I'm pretty sure that photo is also in her video. But I'm pretty sure it was sent to me too. Something doesn't seem right. Look at that text. That text says single forever. Hmm. I'm pretty sure if you get matching tattoos, you've been dating for a while. Just saying. But you're trying to marry me on February 1st. All right, dude. I know that you've been cheating on me, and I think you should stay at your mom's house for a little while. What are you talking about? I think that would be... I met your girlfriend today. Who? Brianna. I don't have a girlfriend. Okay. Well, you know, it is kind of what it is, I think, at this point. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think you should just stay at your mom's house for just a little while so we can get things figured out. Okay. Okay, so you don't want to talk? What is there to talk about? What is there to want to talk? There's nothing to talk about. Okay. I have all the screenshots, all the emails. Alright. Okay, TikTok. So, my boy- Oh, fuck. My boyfriend has not texted me back all day. Told me he's at the dentist and his location says he's at the beach. So, we are dressing up like boys. And we're gonna go spy on this bitch. Updates later. So we're at the beach now, and his truck is here. Hold on. We're about to walk onto the beach and see if he's here with a girl. Okay, so me and Cindy, we're on the beach right now. Okay, so we found him. We think that's him right there. Okay, so we were on the beach and he saw us, so me and Cindy ran, but... Maddie just went and talked to him. He literally saw us and we called his name and he just got in his fucking car. What'd he say? He said it's his cousin. I told him it's fucking over.
Someone came in my live last night and in all capital letters in the middle of the live screamed, you're the bitch that's talking to my husband. First, I guess it's possible. Two, I don't give a fuck. And three, if your husband is engaged with me, well, you've got a bigger problem. He likes hidden candy. You better check on that. I want to hear it again. Why did you cheat on me? Just tell me. I already told you why. I know, but I want to hear it again. For what? Are you recording this shit? No, chill out, Owen. Tell me why. Because after you had Emmett, you were giving him all the attention. So every time I went to work, a girl at work was giving me all the attention. So that's why I did it. Okay, you realize that I was taking care of our son, right? I was taking care of our son. So you cheated on me because I was giving our son all the attention. And you go to work and find attention elsewhere? Do you know what an ass you sound like? You sound completely pathetic. That's why I'm not letting you back in the house. That's exactly why. Can you just let me move back in? No, I'm not. Chill out. You can go be with that bitch. You, you can go be with that bitch. No, no. Go away. Well, how was your day today? It was good. Did you eat yet? Yeah, I ate a little bit ago. Well, where'd you go? Mm, just to Antonio's. Well, who wanted to go there, Mark? Yeah. Well, what were you doing at Antonio's alone with Mark? He's my brother? But we are fucking. You're my brother too. We're all fucking. <laughs> Next up on the You Cheated On Me quiz, we have Mabel. Are we still together? Yes. Who did you cheat with? Your best friend. Did you cheat with anyone else? If so, who? No. Was it worth it? Be honest. No. How often did you cheat on me? Less than 10 times ever. How guilty did you feel? 10. The guilt was killing me. Would you do it again? No. Do at this if this is you. Or would you rather fuck my boyfriend and tell me you're at Tiffany's house? Turn it off. No. Turn it off. No. I'm serious. No. I already know. He told me. So. Told you what? He told me that you guys fuck. So guys, I was cleaning my boyfriend's room. Update of yesterday. Um. Yeah, I found. Let me just show you. So I was cleaning his room today after, you know, the whole situation yesterday. And let me show you what I found. This isn't mine. This isn't mine. These aren't mine. That's not mine. And this isn't mine either. We've been dating for eight months and I've never seen this before. So, hmm, weird, right? This is part three, but I'm going to do it for a reply for this. Um, so he actually ended up calling the cops on me. And while I'm sitting there waiting because he yelled, I'm calling the fucking cops while he ran out my door after I punched him because he's a little bitch. And so I go in my room and I find the girl's cell phone sitting on my nightstand. So I go through it and I find mommy and daddy. So I call them from her phone and tell them, like, I just found your 14-year-old daughter fucking my 18-year-old husband who has a baby. And they say... We know Derek, and they've been dating for a while. So then the cops show up, and he's like, oh, Derek called. You punched him in the face. And I was like, yeah, but I caught him in bed fucking a 14-year-old. And he said, well, her parents are the ones that have to press charges. But he ended up getting arrested for endangering the welfare of a minor, distributing alcohol to minor, 
uh, distributing paraphernalia to a minor, and he ended up getting put on probation, which led to him going to jail and rehab twice. But, oh, wait till you hear what he does next. I don't know why Pizza Hut is texting my boyfriend, but I'm fed up. Why is Pizza Hut texting you? I ordered you a pizza. You're huh? lying. Exactly, fucking A. Because I fucking love you. Exactly. That's why I'm not fucking punching you in the motherfucking face because you're fucking grown and I fucking love you. Exactly the fuck. Well, I'm just with you because of this fucking house. And because we fuck, and because of this, and whatever. Because I think that you giving me love is good for me. Don't think you kiss me? Guess what I do behind your back? I wipe myself. You lie. For the past three days, I've been participating in a clinical trial. It didn't seem risky, and it paid really well. My main motivation was to afford to get my boyfriend, who I love very much, a gift certificate for a tattoo for his birthday. On the first day of the trial, a couple hours after I checked in, I got a message from someone who had some bad news. My boyfriend had been cheating on me. He cheated on me for the first three or four months we were together. Here I was the night before I take an experimental drug that might kill me or make me sick, receiving news that is currently breaking my heart. The test isn't over yet. I'm still admitted to the hospital, and I don't have much to do other than send angry, tearful text messages and be in my own head. However, this afternoon, I got another message from a completely different woman, his boss's daughter. He's been seeing this other woman for the past month or so, and I'm still here. I check out tomorrow, and I don't know what to do with myself. So, I thought my boyfriend cared about me until I found out that he'd been cheating on me the entire four years we were together. But you know what he cares about even more? His Lego Millennium Falcon. Oh my god, guys. I have something very important, and I need everyone's help ASAP. Normally, I would ask my friends, but they're sleeping because it's one in the morning, so please help. So I matched with the guy on Tinder. I'm not going to show his face because I think that's mean. Basically, we start talking, blah, 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 like he's from out of state, yada, yada. And I go on my Instagram and I see that he saw my story. So I click on his profile and I see that there's a picture of him with a girl. So me being crazy, I click on the girl and it turns out they're boyfriend and girlfriend. So naturally, me being the crazy bitch that I am, I ask him something. So I say, I have a question since you're here for the week. Does your girlfriend know you have Tinder? He says, we actually split up a couple weeks ago. He's like, you don't believe me? I don't. And right after he sends this message, I don't know how to make you believe me. I'm not really on Instagram too much and the pictures are still up. All of a sudden, his Instagram is private. So should I tell the girlfriend? I don't know, I'm freaking... Let me just say this first of all i'm sorry by the way i look i'm going through a lot right now y'all and people are blaming me for him cheating so i'm gonna explain something to you if you don't know he cheated on me because after i gave birth to my son i was giving him less attention that he was used to so what he did he got attention at work and he started cheating on me 
Mind you, I'm taking care of a newborn child. I'm breastfeeding every hour. He wasn't sleeping because he had reflux, so I'm constantly taking care of him. I still gave him attention, it just wasn't as much. I did my best, y'all, to balance between him and my newborn. I tried my best, okay? I did what I could do. It wasn't enough for him, so he cheated on me. It's not my fault, y'all. My son was constantly in my arms. I tried to balance out the both of them. It was hard. It wasn't enough for him. This is why you should be glad you did not have a Valentine. You know why? Keep on watching. Long story short, this girl had messaged me saying that she just got married one month ago and her husband has been doing dirty stuff with her co-worker. And he promised he would change, but she wants me to put him to the test if he really did change. Let's find out. So I messaged the husband saying, hey, what's up? I know you don't know me, but I found your Insta and you just wanted to say hi. You seem super chill. I'm sorry if I stutter because when I film, I stutter a lot because I'm nervous. We had a normal conversation, blah, blah, blah. It's not important, so I'm going to skip to the important part. When I accepted his friend request on my Instagram, he said, you are really pretty. Sorry, just saw your pics. So I flirted back and I said, thank you. You're handsome like a lot and this is what got me off the edge completely well, are you looking for a friend something or marriage so i said well a friend and something else he said he's open to anything and then he sent me an inappropriate picture pause it go he says he wants me to wear that for him then i told the girlfriend everything that happened and she said the sad part is i'm not surprised strong us girls got you okay so before i go let me tell y'all why me and my man broke up okay so one night <laughs> one night me and my man was asleep I was asleep over his house, a deep sleep, no bullshit. Uh, the Lord woke me clean up out of my sleep and said, check that man's phone. There's a message in there for you from us. And I'm like, Lord, you want me, a lowly, whatever the fuck, to go through this man's personal property? Like, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. That's not even in me, what? But I didn't want to be disobedient to God. I mean, it's God. <laughs> I am so check it here got a nice thing here got a phone so he sleep on his back right so I had to reach over him to get to the phone now he's snoring I'm cruising he stopped snoring I stopped moving he snore I move he stop I stop we're doing this for like 40 minutes all of this is no I feel none of this here I'm shaking his shit a shortcut to the chum bucket hmm. that must be for me This isn't the chum bucket.